Today, I will be making frog jump capital letters out of Play-Doh. Remember, opening the Play-Doh container is a great way to help your child strengthen their hands. I will be making my Play-Doh letters on a folder because we don't want to ruin the surface. It's okay if you want to put down something so that it doesn't ruin your surface too. Hmm, what letter should we start with? Let's start with F. To make F, we have to roll out our Play-Doh. You might have to hold down something if you're rolling your Play-Doh not on the table. Use your palms or your fingertips to roll out a big line. Now we can start to make F. We have big line down, frog jump up, but now we have to make some little lines. Let's roll it out. Here's give it a top. Now we have to roll out our middle. And give it a middle. Now let's trace it. Big line down, frog jump up, give it a top, give it a middle. That's F. But look, we can form E from F. We want to roll out one more little line. And then we can give it a bottom. Now let's trace E. Big line down, frog jump up, give it a top, give it a middle, give it a bottom. Let's try to make a different letter. We know that frog jump letters, the capital ones, start with a big line down. So we can keep our big line down. Since we're making P, we need to roll out a little curve. Let's use two hands to roll out our curve. Now we can add it. We want to make a little curve and add it to our big line down. Let's trace P. Big line down, frog jump up, little curve. Look, we can even create R from P. Let's roll out our Play-Doh for our little line. And now we can add it to our P and make it into an R. Let's trace it. Big line down, frog jump up, little curve, diagonal line down. See how many frog jump capital letters that you can make from your Play-Doh. Have fun!